Hey everybody, it's 150 Golade here, and I am bringing you the top 5 most difficult gym leaders in Nuzlocke challenges. Now keep in mind, this is only my opinion, and also, if you're not doing Nuzlocke, these gym leaders are pretty difficult as well. Number 5, Karina and her Hallucha Beast. Her first two Pokemon, Mean Food and Machoke, aren't really much, but that Hallucha Flying Press is just mean. Yeah, it, it, even if you enter the gym with a flying Pokemon, your flying Pokemon's still going to die. My Pidgeotto couldn't make it out of there safe, even with the, the type advantage. Its Aerial Ace only did half. It was, it, it was wild. Now, she is very difficult, and she will most likely kill one of your Pokemon. Why is she only number five, you ask? Because it can't do any damage to a ghost-type Pokemon. Number four, Clement. Now, what makes this really hard is that it's an electric-type gym. And at this point in the game, you barely have any access to ground type Pokemon. The, yes, there was, a, you did get a lot of them around Amberette Town. Yes, you did get a lot of them on the route before, but still, he also has an Emolga, which is immune to ground. His Thunderbolt attacks are very strong, and usually they'll do over half. You um, it is incredibly rare for you to have something super effective. The most, all your only hope is really to buy TM Bulldoze and hope some of your Pokemon can learn it. It's very difficult simply because you have very little access to super effective Pokemon. Number three, Brant and his Tyron. Now, his Amora is pretty easy, except one thing. It's probably faster than you, and it'll probably thunder wave you, but you can probably take it out pretty easy. Tyrant is a whole true story. First of all, you, the Pokemon you want to use will probably be paralyzed. And this thing is just, it hits so hard. It, it's going to kill a lot of your Pokemon. You, don't, you will barely have any access to super effective things. The only super effective things you really have are like Flabebe, Pancham, Krogong. Unless, of course, you're doing a Wonderlock, but this is not the top five most difficult gym leaders in Wonderlocks. This is the top five most difficult gym leaders in Nuzlocks. It's very difficult because you'll pro again, just like Clement, you'll you have very little access to super effective things. And it can and it can even kill super effective things things against it. It has, like, Stomp. It's very difficult. Number two! Flannery. The reason she is so difficult is because she has overheat on all of her Pokemon, and it's only the fourth gym. Yeah, that 140 power move, well, actually, it's 130 now, but it was 148 at the time, on all of her Pokemon. The chances of you, like, having one Pokemon survive are very little. She can probably even one-hit KO your water types. Yeah, you heard me. One-hit KO your water types. Yeah, it's just very difficult. Um, your best hope is a Numo or a Marshdomp, but she has a camera up, so that would, like, hurt your Numo. And, yeah, Marshdomp... It, and easily go down to an overheat. So yeah, the reason that she's on here is overheat. Number one, Watson. Okay, this is similar reasons to Clement. The only thing super effective against his Magneton that you have access to within that point of the game is Marshtomp, Combuskin, and Makuhita. And I get this. He can still, even if you have Combuskin and Matohita, he can still probably kill those. Oh, and Marsh Stomp is, and Marsh Stomp is a water type, and you're going to get a bunch of water type encounters. You do 
not need to choose Mudkip other than, of course, Watson, because there are so many other water types in Hoenn. He's very difficult. Be prepared to lose something. Oh, and it, let's say you don't have anything super effective against him, then all of then he resists all of your types. Yeah, you heard me right. He resists all of your types unless you're super effective. And he just likes to confuse you. It's just, it's just with super time. It's just it's very yeah difficult. If you chose Mudkip, it's probably pretty easy unless your Mudkip died before the battle. But yeah, basically Mudkip's your only way out. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching my top five most difficult game leaders in No Lock challenges. In my opinion. Anyway, this is 150 Glade signing out. Stay awesome and goodbye.